Hey, you guys, welcome back to Married to Film. Listen, here's part three. She's a beauty, ain't she? Well, let's get to it. And he out with Marty. If that's his Everything son. I said before was true. I need you to know that. So you attack me after I cut you loose? Well, it's instinct, Mason. I'm scared to death. You have no idea who I am. Uh-oh. Mm -mm. Dang. Sex, booze, drugs. All before I was 15, I was a quick convert. And the one place that kept me from going under was that church I told you about. The one that my daddy built with his bare hands. And when going home wasn't an option because that very same daddy decided he loved liquor just a little bit more than he loved Jesus that night. Oh, he's about to get caught. Well, they are at this book's uh, boat. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. He about to go to his boat. Somebody down there? He got a gun, you big... What's that thought? Hey! Mm. My shotgun just loves making you crazy. Come on. Shit. We gotta get in the water. Hey! Someone down there? She can't get in the water. Marsha can't. PTSD. Mm -hmm. Wait! Lift up your shirt. Turn around. Flip out your pockets. No, I'm, I'm unarmed. I'm, I'm alone. Just like you said. I'm just your kid. But I'm not... I'm not giving it to you until I know that Wendy's okay. Wendy! Wendy? Marty, is that you? Marty, I'm here. Wendy? Well, he didn't punch him in the face. <laughs> then, the baby, then the baby would fall. The baby strapped in. talking about as soon as I let you leave was to stop you from calling the police and telling them what I did. You would never do that, Mason. Well, he would. We had an agreement. Wendy for Zeke. As far as I'm concerned, this whole thing is over as soon as we leave here. How can I be so sure? Oh, my God. Because I kept my word on that, I'm going to keep my word on this. How do I know? How do oh I know that you didn't already call him and, and, and tell him where I'm at? You know, how do I know that they're not up there right now? Waiting for you two to walk out of here and they come down here. Will you shut up? What did you do to him? What are you talking about? To make him this way. I brought him straight here as... I brought him straight here as soon as they gave him to you. Mason, it's, it's, it's completely natural for a baby to cry if you haven't seen them for a while. I don't know, he did something to him. Oh my god. You're not making any sense. I'm making perfect fucking sense. There's nothing you could have possibly done to him. You can do whatever you want. You're the devil. Okay. Mason, we brought you your son. There's nothing wrong with him. You don't let us go. I'll tell you, tell me what you did to him. He's just upset. Yeah, it's like, like an hour. hour. Mason. You want to know what's done? A fundraising campaign to help you while you were on the street. I warned you to go back out onto the water so that the snails wouldn't come after you. In fact, I begged them to let you go back out onto the water instead of them just killing you and Grace right then and there. And when they didn't listen to me, I paid $700,000 to save your lives. Mm -hmm. $700,000. Every single thing I've done has been to help you. Everything I've told you to do has been to help you. And what have you done? You've done the exact opposite every single time. And what did it get you? It got you right fucking here. <laughs> Why do I even listen to him? All you do is lie. He's not lying, Mason. Wendy said so herself. You two are criminals. You're killers. No, 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 no. Well, I, I said that we worked with him. I never said that we were criminals. I'm taking her. What? No, you're not. No, you're not. Put that down. I'm going to take Wendy to protect her from you. Because whenever you're not around, she tells the truth, right? And the minute you show up, you start, you start lying, Mason. Slow down. Okay? He's corrupting you. Yes, you're going to come with me. Come over here. No, 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 no. I don't understand what's happening. Where's the do you see you see what you're doing? Oh. No, it's the same thing as in that store. Ah. 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 
Now she's a killer. Here. Let her go. Don't do this. You have everything that you want. I have nothing that I want. I don't have my wife. I don't have my faith. I don't even have my son anymore. Yes, you do. It's right there. You're taking everything from me. Just finish the job. I'm not going to do that. Just take this. Mason, 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 put that down. Put that Mason. Now I just plug this right in. Force his hand. Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! They got legal custody of the baby. Oh my god! How do you get out of this? If he I'm touches so sorry, her, sorry, Daddy. If he punches her, I, I swear I didn't. I didn't know he'd be back so soon. I, 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 I promise. I promise. I promise. I'm. I'm, I'm not. A, I'm not a psycho. I'm not. You just. You gotta. You gotta give me another chance, Daddy. It's all right, Mercy. There'll be other boats. All that matters, you're okay. I think I know where Marty's money is. A little bit ago, I, I saw Wendy drive a hearse up to one of the cabins at the Blue Cat. That must have been where they were keeping the money. I must have caught them moving it to the funeral home. Let's go get it there. Okay, I need you, I need you to put these clothes on, and I need you to put your clothes on in the laundry bag, okay? What the hell are we gonna do? We're gonna do. We're gonna do what we have to do. We're gonna get rid of the body and we're gonna take Zeke with us. I think I'm having a fucking heart attack. No. It's just, it's just a panic attack, sweetheart. <laughs> and you're panic shock, attacks feel like it's heart attacks. Uh, just in the way you want for it. So, in the way you want for it, out where you come for it. Alright? Just keep breathing. I don't know that we see it as something that has to be reconciled. Wouldn't you agree, Marty? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the way we see it, we're in the business of bringing prosperity to this lake. Well, they didn't bring me in. I uh, volunteered. Under duress. How do you figure? Well, they clearly thought you had something to hide because they felt the need to come here in the middle of the night. Oh, well, it was early morning, actually. When they knew you'd least expect it. Uh, in fact, we welcome it because we know it's necessary and we don't have anything to hide. At the end of the day, the FBI is going to find what everybody finds when they meet us. And I encourage people to come on up. I mean, introduce themselves to us when they see us. Oh, she done They're the going to find a family that's very much like their own. We oh, hard. my God. We make time for family. We try and treat our neighbors with respect and teach our children. To oh be my God! And we sacrifice for each other. We sometimes do more than we bargain. Oh for. my God! But we make our peace with those sacrifices because we love each other. Oh much. my God! Oh my God! <laughs> so much so. That as you can see, we all came together as a family and decided to help a friend out in need and foster his son for a bit. Mm. 
And when I put it that way, we sound kind of boring. What do you think, Mart? Oh my God. Are we boring? Oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. That was So this whole episode was around <laughs> it's called One Mason. Out. I can't think of the quote and I said I was going to try to remember it. I would have remembered it had all that the last five minutes of that hadn't happened. Happen. Wendy went into an explanation as to why she feels that people go and do the things that they do regardless if they hold on to God or not. Um, she mentioned something. Oh, I cannot remember the quote. And I'm pretty sure somebody's going to say it or mention it. But when she said righteousness, when righteousness doesn't find a way, oh, God, I can't believe that I forgot it. Something about righteousness. Uh, when righteousness doesn't... <sighs> Never mind. Well, um, my top two things was uh, uh, the tea kettle and water. Mine was the notebook and pen and the um, pacifier. Oh, man. Um, I don't even remember how the dog on episode started. It started cause... like that. With him talking to the girl. With, I mean, after with, that. I mean, after that. Uh, oh. It went right into um, them at the house. Oh, yeah. It was them at the house, and they were talking, and he was talking. He was talking to her. This this is how it went. From the beginning, they were talking, and we didn't know who they were talking to, and it was like, okay, um, we're doing X, Y, Z. Wendy was just talking, and he was just zoned out. I thought at the beginning that he was zoned out because he just found out that Rachel right. was wired. Exactly. Um, not only that, but it was the kiss that probably got him, too. Right. And then all of a sudden, she just opens up her brazier and shows him the wire. But I thought that was what he was concentrating mm -hmm. on. Not knowing what all this episode <laughs> was going to lead into. Great job, writers. That Great job. made it go full circle. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> so... Yeah, so we went from there to them at the house because she was at she was looking out the window. She had the coffee or the tea or whatever she was drinking, and um, Marty was making the, the the breakfast for the kids. Remember, mm -hmm. um, Wendy mentioned something about never been going back to the Blue Cat. Rachel mm -hmm. was being wired, and how long mm -hmm. has it been? Do you know that she gave you up or anything? What did she say to the FBI agents? Charlotte comes through the door and she says, "Hey, you're not working at the Blue Cat no more." She says, oh, well, that makes a lot of blanky blank sense. And she walks off. We didn't see Jonah to the very end. He mm -hmm. on the couch. Right. He had a very easy uh, job that day. I, <laughs> this, oh, my God. Every episode of Ozark has me like, I don't know what to do. Do I want to cry? Do I want to be mad? Do I want to cry? Do I want to cuss? Do I want to, what the what? <laughs> it evokes all kinds of people. I'm so confused. <laughs> So after the breakfast, Marty leaves. She was telling Wendy was telling him that be be prepared for the ten o'clock with the PR agent to, yes, yes, to prepare yes, for what happened in the beginning. The, you know, and so that's when I think he went and, go, and saw uh, Rachel. Rachel, the and when she left, that's when she got kidnapped by Mason. And Don't forget the know. text messages. Yeah, yeah, the text messages back and forth. You know, she said play along, and I told him not to kiss her, and he did it anyway. So as she I don't was know why talking, he ain't listen to me. Yeah, so. It, you didn't yell, I don't know. <laughs> don't trust her. Don't kiss her. But she was trying to get him to cover for her. He's like, I can't do nothing. I cover for Ruth, and look what they look what they still did to her. It's like Poor they gonna kill my family. Going through PTSD as oh. if, as if she was there. PTSD. Listen, it was torture. 
She they literally even take, she can't even take a shower no more. She can't take a shower. She's in there just like, yeah, right, water. And then Nothing. her daddy had her in the water because the whoever was not supposed to be home was home and came onto the boat with a shotgun. Man, got her committing crimes like that, man. She's trying to get her life straight. No, not she... her. Not him. He don't have her commit. He don't have her doing it. You said, yes, he was in her ear. But she figured, you know what? This is what I'm good at. So let me just go back to doing this because Marty will get me killed. She never, they never risk their lives being taken. They just steal things. You get it? I get it. Still. So, but that's where she's comfortable. So she went back to the, the comfortabil comfortability <laughs> of it all, her comfort spot. Now she's talking about taking Marty's money. She should have just let him die by her brother, by her uncles if she's going to go steal his money like this. So... I know we're bouncing all over the place yeah. because this 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 episode had us bouncing all over the place. Like I said, it's a whole emotions thing. But um, so uh, somebody called the police on Mason being out there preaching the word of God on the corners, and they were saying that that you have uh, somebody reported him saying that you're um, being uh, uh, not a good parent, um, and they took custody of the the state or city or whatever took custody of the baby. Well, Mason. Is behind the in the back seat with a black mask, uh, ready to kidnap uh, Wendy. She gets in the car. She's on her way to go meet Marty mm -hmm. to interview with the PR agent. He kidnaps her, takes her, drives her to his car, puts her in the trunk of his car, and then drives to her to his house. Mm -hmm. In the basement, that's where he has her duct tape, and she's talking all kinds of stuff to get her out. She has a gift of gas. Oh, she's okay, good. she's really good. She's good. she's good at that. And Marty said that at the beginning. You don't know my wife. Mm -hmm. She has a gift of gab in every situation. She also had a dag on fire extinguisher too, mm -hmm. and a screwdriver. Listen, pick up. She said that her lessons were use whatever you got. Mm -hmm. That's what my mama used to tell me. When you mm -hmm. want to fight, you grab whatever is close to you and you knock them to hell. That's what mama would say. Mm -hmm. Mason in the basement told Marty when he came with the baby because they had less than 24 hours to get the baby back from he the He had the baby for like an hour. What did you do to him? The baby was crying. Well, she said, and this is a key thing too, baby. She said, you having guilt is not good for the baby. Mm. Soon as the baby came, he started crying when he said, shut up. And the, first of all, it's a baby. You can't yell at a baby like that. That hurts the baby's feelings. First of all, it scares the baby. Mm -hmm. The baby was like, hey, that ain't my daddy. You acting a fool. So it was the guilt. I think it was the guilt. And she said that. I thought that was a good a good point mm -hmm. that they brought up. But um, they ended up, Marty had to kill him. Yeah. But he had to kill had him. To. It was self, I mean, it was um protecting Wendy. Wendy. He had to, but Wendy is a bad mama jama. Mm -hmm. I'm all over the place. I cannot believe and this he, show is so good. Right, he he panicked out, man, after 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 killing him, man. He's just an episode of PTSD and panic attacks. And he, she said to him, which is so very true, panic attacks do feel like you're having a heart attack because you have no control over your heart. You can't control your breathing. You feel like the world is spinning. You don't know what's going on. It is the worst feeling ever. Marty ain't gonna be the same. It's the worst feeling ever. Yeah, it ain't gonna be the same. This was so good, y'all. <laughs> this is so good. But I gotta use the bathroom. <laughs> so let us know what you guys thought of that episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Oh my God, do all of that stuff. Don't spoil nothing for we'll us. We'll see y'all next time. Love y'all. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.